In this video, I'm going to show you this really awesome point of view peephole effect, and that's right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into it. So once you've got Adobe Premiere Pro open and you've created a brand new composition, you first want to begin by dragging your footage from your browser into the timeline. And as you can see in my example, I've just got this footage of me standing just as if I'm waiting at the front door. Now I'm just going to begin by creating a brand new black video. So we'll go into new item, black video, and we'll press OK on this menu and we'll drop the black video onto video layer two. So this should be on top of our footage. Now with the black video selected, we'll go into opacity and select the ellipse mask. That's the circle mask. And then we'll just increase the size of this mask. So we'll pull the left out to the left, the top up to the top, the right over to the right a bit, and we'll pull the bottom marker of this mask all the way down. Now from here, we'll go back into mask one and we'll press the inverted box. Then we'll go up to mask feather. We'll increase the mask feather. This can go up to around 80%. Then we'll go into motion and we'll increase the scale to around, we'll go up to around 130. And then from there, we're just gonna pull the black video from video layer two up onto video layer three to make room for an adjustment layer. So from here, we're gonna create a new adjustment layer. So we'll go new item, adjustment layer, press okay on this menu and we'll drag adjustment layer onto video layer two. Now select the adjustment layer, go into the effects tab. We'll search for blur and then we'll drop fast blur onto the adjustment layer. Now in fast blur, we want to increase this all the way up to around 50 pixels and then we'll select repeat edge pixels. Then we'll select the circle mask inside of fast blur. And again, we'll just extend the size of this out to the left, top, right, and bottom. Now again, we'll go into the inverted box. So we'll select inverted and then we'll increase the mask feather all the way up to around 200% and we'll increase the mask expansion to around 100. So this means the edge of the video should now be blurry, but the center of the video should be in focus. And once you're happy with the look of that, we can move on to the next part, and that is to add the distortion to the footage. So in effects, you want to scroll down to distort and open up this window and search for lens distortion. Drop lens distortion onto the original footage and we'll pull the curvature all the way up to around 100%. And as you can see, that's added this bending effect to the footage, but it has unfortunately decreased the scale of this. So we need to go into motion. We'll go to scale and we increase the scale of this all the way up to around 150%, making sure that the footage is filling up the entire size of the monitor. Now, once you're happy with the look of that, we're just gonna select the black video and the adjustment layer and we'll pull them up to the track above so the adjustment layer should be on three and the black video layer should be on four and we'll go into file new legacy title we'll press ok on this window we'll go over to the circle tool on the left of the legacy title window and then we're just going to draw a random small circle in the middle of the video making sure it's within that black vignette now it's really important to make sure that the fill color is white if it's not, then you can go down to fill color and you can change this from whatever color it is to white. And you just want to do many different circles. I'm going to do nine, maybe 10 circles. And once I'm happy with that, we're just going to exit the legacy title window. We'll go back into the project and we'll drag that on to a video layer two. Now that looks really random. Now that looks really random and really weird, but don't worry. This is going to amount to something that looks really good. First, we're just gonna increase the scale a little bit. So I'm gonna pull that up to 129, and then we'll go into effects, search for blur. We'll drop fast blur onto this title layer, and then we'll increase the blurriness all the way up to around 100, 140%. And as you can see, that's giving us the illusion of some dust particles or dirt on the glass on the peephole. Now we're gonna select the black video, the adjustment layer and the title, and we're gonna drag them all up one more time. So video layer two should be unoccupied. And then we're just gonna copy the original footage. So we'll hold command C. We'll move the cursor over and press command V to paste this. We'll unlink the original audio. So we'll right click, go all the way up to unlink, and then we'll delete the original audio. Drag this video onto video layer two, and then we'll go into effects and search for basic 3D. Drop basic 3D onto the copied video, and we're just gonna swivel this to 180 degrees. 
Then we'll pull the position of this all the way over to the left, making sure that the face sits on the blurry edge of the black vignette. Now from here, we'll select the pen tool inside of opacity, and we're just gonna draw a mask around the very left hand side of the peephole. Now you wanna follow the curvature of that black vignette. Now, of course you can adjust the keyframes if you're not entirely happy with the positioning of them, but once you're happy with the look of this, we're just gonna increase the mask feather. So I'm gonna increase my mask feather all the way up to around, let's go up to around 50%, and then we'll pull the position of this over just a touch. And that's creating this glass reflection effect, which looks really awesome. Now we're almost there, but there's just one more thing that we need to do. We need to add a little bit of camera movement as if this was somebody's point of view looking through the peephole. So we're just gonna select everything within the timeline. So select absolutely everything, including the audio. We'll right click and go up to nest. Now we can rename this nested sequence, but we don't have to. We'll increase the scale in the motion tab to 110. We'll create a brand new keyframe on the position. We'll scroll to the very end, create a brand new keyframe on the position again. We'll go about a quarter or maybe a third of the way into the video. We'll pull the position over to the right and up. We'll go to the next quarter, adjust the position, go over again, adjust the position. And as you can see, we've got this really nice, really awesome camera movement. Of course, if we wanna ease this out, then all we have to do is select all of the keyframes, right click on one of the keyframes, go down to temporal interpolation and select ease in. And that will very nicely smooth out that movement. And there you go. If we play this back, we've got this really awesome and really simple peephole effect. And that's done right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there you go. If you enjoyed that, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video. And of course, I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.